Hi Leo, welcome back. You will be familiar with the cards I have in front of me. These were the cards that came up in your general reading on YouTube. Did mention quite a few things. There's definitely changes happening. Lots of contrasts, contrasts and wish fulfillment happening here. So let's first have a look. Six cards for love, romance, relationships for those born under the sign of Leo for April. Okay, we've got the Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Chariot, okay, and the Two of Cups. Absolutely beautiful card. Let's look at this powerful meeting here. The Queen of the Queen of Swords up against the Knight of Wands. This is very, very powerful. There's definitely some sort of culmination, okay? Um it's coming to a head between you and a significant other. Could be an air sign here. The Queen of Swords is symbolic of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You do have the Gemini here with the lovers, but you also have the Two of Cups. This is very powerful. For some of you, you're either meeting um, someone and it's the, the initial meeting is very, very powerful. Um, you're coming, whether same sex, opposite sex, you're coming in together and you're two both very powerful, strong um potential emotional energies coming in and I'm seeing that you've, you're meeting in the form of a two of cups now this scene is this is seen as the commitment card um, and you also have the chariot so you've got all these cards face this way wow all coming up to that pyramid point okay four of cups self-reflection realization twin flames you can see her reflection here so the notion of twins is coming up very very strongly for you I'm really excited this is a twin flame here for some of you Okay, Four of Cups, illumination and learning about the self. Okay, as I said, you'll have to let go to let this beautiful thing, whatever this is needs to happen, will only happen once you let go. You will learn a lot from it, Leo. There's a lot of lessons that you will learn. Only once you let go, see how she's just, she's looking within. She's thinking about her mate. She's thinking about them. Absolutely. She's dawdling here and her, her fingers outstretched to the water here. So she's obviously reflecting on her connection here. But once she comes to a period of reflection, we see inundation in the form of a six of pentacles, this wonderful outpour of emotion, especially if you are dealing with an earth sign. With a water sign, I feel like things are on the emotional front. There is someone growing in emotion towards you. Um, I especially feel like because it's in that corner here where the column, the cups is all about a fellow water sign here. Uh, uh, sorry, a, a water sign here. So if you are dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this person is learning a lot or they're going to see, they're going to receive some sort of sign from the universe that you are their twin flame. With an earth sign, it's a little bit different. I feel like you're going to receive the help you need. You're going from the five to the six of pentacles to the nine. Co consecutive numbers here. So this does point to a lot of positivity between you and this person. Um, I'm seeing an outpour of help. Okay, it's an outpour. Um, it's like you're going to herald in some something within this person that suddenly they'll just begin to change and act differently towards you. It's going to come to a good place here, okay? Um, because I feel like the Five of Pentacles, there might have been an earth sign around you that really needs you in April. Um, they're coming to you for help, okay? Some sort of connection here between yourself and an earth sign. But I feel things, for the most part, with a lot of different signs, will attract victory and triumph. The Queen of Swords is here, in particular, if you are dealing with a Gemini, possibly a Libra here, or an Aquarius. Queen of Swords with the Lovers card. Wow, this is a confrontation. It doesn't have to be a bad confrontation. Um... I almost feel like if you have been dealing with an air sign, they've either tone things down they've retracted a little bit but they're actually coming in and they've got strong words to deliver okay they've got something very um, important to tell you to communicate to you this is why they might request to see you this is why they want to express to you this is why they're stripping bare um, and they're revealing their most inner thoughts maybe they've had the last four weeks four months four years to think about what you had and this person is suddenly coming in and they finally understand why things happen the way they did maybe they're seeking closure you know the queen of swords needs to know everything she's she likes things clear and concise and direct so the fact that this has happened here i do believe that this person is either wanting closure or they're possibly wanting to reinstate that communication that you once had with this person the knight of wands i feel like this is you leo um, it's a message. It, it is. It is a strong message. Absolutely. It's the notion of expansion, travel, movement. I think there's um, 
you're going to have a surge of energy here. You've got the beautiful two of cups. Suddenly, whatever it is, this breakthrough that happens, it's going to have you all hyped up, okay? I see you ready. The, 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 the Leo is here and he's... It doesn't look like he's not still. He's he's moving. He's ready to venture forward. And, you know, you're leaning back. But she's leaning more into you than you are. So remember, when you lean back, when you with, with, withdraw, that's when this person is going to come forward. Okay, so you're leaning back. So this is them pleading their case to you, I feel, during the month of April. Okay? You can see she's got the butterflies, this crescent moon. Um... I feel like someone is trying to protect themselves against you, okay? I don't know if you're mad at them. Sometimes the Knight of Wands has a bit of wrath here. So I don't know if you're mad at them for something, but I feel as though they've got a barrier here. They don't want to be fully hurt. It's like they don't want you to fully pierce what they have here. So I'm not sure why that's coming up for some of you. For others, the beautiful chariot here shows growth of an emotional connection here, especially if you are dealing with a cancer here. This also points to sentimentality and someone you were very strongly linked to once upon a time. It could be someone from your past that's coming back to reconnect or they're coming back for another relationship with you. Second time's a charm. If not, Leo, um, it doesn't work here. But I'm seeing with the two of cups and the chariot, there's definitely a water sign um, that's coming in here and is wanting your love, okay? They're coming through very strongly. They've, they've thought about you. They've revisited beautiful memories you've shared together with the chariot card. Um, and suddenly this person is in a different... Suddenly they're coming in with a lot of confidence. You can see there's a lot of confidence here. Um... She's just confident that she'll master the waters here. Well, it looks like horses, your uh, unicorns, um, aren't always the best with water. So, so I feel like she they're looking back at her, but she's ready to go in with confidence. So she's confident. There's a water sign around you or someone around you that they they can they're confident they can water they can weather the storm is what I'm getting with that chariot card. Um, last card, the Two of Cups, Twin Flames, Soulmate Union here with the Two of Cups. This is possibly a proposal for some of you. Okay, it's definitely come up very, very strongly here in these two cards. Two of Cups with the Lovers cards. Some of you are actually getting back with someone and this is someone that's in your future, possibly be married or engaged to. The two of you are intertwined. This is all about your world, your circle, the relationship, the, the kind of relationship you want to create, Leo, and no one will stand in the way of that now or ever because this relationship will work for you in a very very beautiful way here but this is an equal playing field here so that's very nice to see um let's move on and have a look at your career finance job prospects what's happening in career for leo for april the star card destined opportunities coming in with the star card opportunities to be involved in advertising marketing brand awareness putting your work out there to the world creative pursuits really being on a platform something you'll produce or you'll um, create will be star quality is what I'm seeing with the beautiful star card. It does point to destined opportunities as well and an opportunity to redeem yourself or find passion um, in an existing work situation here with the star card. Could be an Aquarius coming in around some of you. Um, could be a second income stream, okay? Star card can also point to spiritualism, a hobby, something we feel like it's a calling, um, you might feel like this is your soul's calling or your forte in your career. I feel like this is happening. You're thinking very seriously about you now, uh, about it now. Some of you actually have job opportunities that will come from foreign shores in the month of April. I see that you'll be making a decision about this. There's the beautiful opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity that will be given to you. You'll hear news of this. Um... It's triumph, it's victory, it might be something you were fighting for, there was a lot of competition or you had to fight tooth and nail to get this interview or land this opportunity. Um, I see you contemplating it though, why? Because a lot of travel or overseas connections will be attached to this opportunity. There's definitely a lot of responsibility attached, Leo, and of any of the signs, you are a born leader, so I feel like you can take this role with confidence as the Queen of um, Wands represents here. Um <clears throat> You do have the star and the moon. Moon is creativity. I feel as though a second income is coming in around creativity, performance, production, a second job, um, a second money-making opportunity for some of you with the moon card. It could be a cancer coming through that you might be working with, collaborating with, because you do have a queen and king here. And in the middle, you've got this golden opportunity in between them. 
you've got possible victory, triumph in the form of the Ace of Swords. I'm not sure if you're connecting with a Taurus here. If this is you as the Leo, whether male or female, you're connecting with a Taurus, a Gemini, Aquarius here. This is the month, that, or a Cancer, this is the month, month where collaborations could prove to be very, very profitable. Remember you have the Lovers card, okay? Um, soulmate connections here, people that can help grow your finances, grow opportunities or prosperity for you and with you. <clears throat> Hidden talents. Something that was hidden or masked or laid to rest will be reopened again. I'm not sure if this is like an old case that will re be reopened. Um, a trial period. Um, hiring of old employees that used to work for the company. It's almost like someone's going to open up a box to the past somehow in career. And this is going to affect not only you but the other people you're working with. Um, you might be in two minds about it. But I feel as though with the moon card something that was mysterious is suddenly going to be opened up. Um, in, on, on the work front. Then you do have the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Excuse me. She's seen as the Leo. So this of course could be you. Um, leadership. Creativity. She's really the governess. Okay. She's she's open and receptive. But there is a bit of fire. And a bit of uh, um, you know feistiness to her. Which I love. So this is her being able to bounce back. And be resilient. I also feel like you. you it's, it's a great time for career. And for money. The growth of the tree and she's playing her harp and it almost looks like the harp is part of the tree. So if you have something that's quite established, it's almost like a different branch. Branching off comes to mind. Um, branching off into your own sector, branching off into a new division, branching off into a new career. It's almost like a detour. Something like this is happening for you um, and you're going to enjoy it. You're going to, it, it actually turns into a harp which shows a very sweet melody and the unfolding of events around this branching off or a new branch or a new division. So for some of you, that might be quite significant um, because you did have the Ace of Swords next to it. Okay, opportunity for change or a new venture here. You'll hear news of this. You've been waiting for it. It's a solid concrete venture because the sword is pointed, the hilt is pointed up. It's it's up to you. It's almost like this, this Ace of Swords is here for the taking, Leo. So this opportunity, maybe that's why you'll be in two minds because you'll you'll have leeway room okay you'll have the ability to either take this opportunity the sword is there for your taking um the butterflies here change could be coming from an earth uh, an air sign gemini libra aquarius that gives you this opportunity or you hear word from an air sign but the butterflies is change transformation coming out of your shell and being the person you're supposed to be being in the role that you're destined to be in here uh, leo because moving on, you've got a very um, established, grounded energy in the form of a King of Pentacles. Now, this is a large amount of money. I can see that money will take a very, there's an increase, a large increase, growth, performance, revenue, income, output, overheads, margins, etc. Because the Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles and then you've got the King of Pentacles. A large amount of money, a large asset, possible relocation for work or acquiring a very expensive product. For the purposes of work, whether it's hardware, software, products, services, uh, POS, new offices, um, anything of this kind is coming up <clears throat> with the King of Pentacles here. And it's all about Taurus. It's quite a luxurious energy here. So if you do have a new opportunity coming, it's going to be a very comfortable one. Um, I feel like this company or this new venture, this new branch is very big on internal growth and development. Great induction and training provided with this opportunity here. Um, and you do have people that are genuinely invested in the field here with the King of Pentacles. These people are um, genuinely very skilled and senior. Okay, They come with a lot of experience. There's, there's the tree of life here. So a lot of experience and skills and, and, and things of that nature here, Leo. I will leave it at that though. Have a fantastic April.